Hello, everybody. <clears throat> and today I found an emerald in the mine, and my friend wanted to see it. And when he took it, he accidentally died in lava and lost my emerald, which I was really disappointed about. So my cousin gave me a check for one emerald to spend at the ATM. So. You look in this chest, there's no emeralds, but this is the chest you spend in. So I look in here and insert the 64 stack of items. My person goes up so I can't see anymore, and when I look in this chest, there's an emerald in it. Now, no, this ATM just can, can stand a lot more than just one check for one emerald. It could stand uh, five, five checks for five emeralds, and I'm going to prove that. But before that, what's going to happen here is it's resetting, and once it's finished resetting, the piston detracts, retracts, and when I look in this test here, no emeralds are, in it. Or no checks are in it, so it's all gone. I, I'm not getting that back. And if you're the bank teller and want to receive the check, make sure it wasn't forged, you can head down here, look in here, and there it is, the check. In case you guys didn't believe me, now I have three checks, so I can have three emeralds. Right now, there are no emeralds in this chest, and no stuff in this chest. So now, I'm going to put these in here at a certain pace that's not too fast and not too slow, kind of like this. That seems good. So now that comes up so I can get the items, boo-hoo. But when I look in here, I now have three emeralds, not just one. Pretty cool. And be warned, the longer, the more items you put in here, the longer it takes to reset. In case you guys still don't believe me, now I have five checks for five emeralds. And that's the most this ATM machine can handle. So, no emeralds in this chest. So now I'm going to put these in here at a pace. And now that closes up, I can't get the items, boo-hoo. Nothing here, now I have five emeralds to enjoy and this is gonna take a really long time to reset so now so I'm not gonna stand here talking but I will explain how this works alright so here's the redstone behind it was it stands on the block behind there but anyways um so how this works is the comparators the hopper the new dropper found in the new snapshot so how this works here um I'm going to take the sandstone block away and this redstone away for a second. How this works is when I put one sixty four stack of items, the redstone comparator will power the first set of redstone here, which will power this piston. And there would be a row of redstone here, which would trigger this line of repeaters, which would trigger this torch here, turn it off, and then the hopper would take the items from this chest and put it down in this one. And this repeater would extend the piston. So that's why I have to do it pretty fast, or else this thing, and this is over, the four, uh, four dicks repeaters, um, then it will close before you finish putting items, and then it will start, um, the hopper will start putting items into that chest. So, if you have like four, um, checks, and you put them in slowly, you probably only get three emeralds, because the machine will only detect three when it detects the fourth one. And how this side works here, what the dropper does, is it's a lot like the dispenser, and what it does is instead of dispensing the item, it will put it in the chest instead. If this was open, it would just dispense the item, but it will put it in this chest. Which means if I'm accidentally AFK for a long time and forget about this, I'll still be back and there'll still be emeralds in there. But yeah, so... When you put the uh, first 64 stack of items in, uh, the first set of redstone will do it. Will be powered, and it'll go over here into this mono stable, and it will fire the dispenser once. The second 64 stack of items gets put right after that, powers the next set of redstone because it's a comparator, and it goes into another mono stable, which is set to a repeater at four. And the reason why is because this might not be finished when this gets finished. So then. This is at the 4, so this is still lasting. This turns off, and then it turns on again. 
Same thing with the third one, the fourth one, the fifth one, and so on. Now this is stackable, so you can do lots of things on the server. Um, not so. You can have lots of items and lots of money, but it only can be stackable to 15. The reason why is because of this redstone and this redstone, and I think the comparator can only go to 15. Um, but yeah. So, this is... I'll just teach you. I'll just get to the tutorial. So what you're going to start out with is a chest one block above the ground, and then behind that a block with a redstone comparator facing that way. And keep it on the off mode. I'm not sure how the modes go. I haven't read too much about that. But, yeah. And then another chest right here. And there's going to be a dropper right there. The thing that I realize about the dropper is that it looks like the frog from Footnote Studio, if you ever heard of that. I mean, it's like the exact shape. Even the mouth is the same. It's so creepy. But anyways. Um, from this, you can go, and go out how many money you want this to go up to. Um, I'm just going to let it go up to five emeralds or dollars or whatever you want to put into this dropper. And then, on this side, actually this is four, whoops, okay. on this side, you want to set repeaters to one tick, um, oh, not droppers, place upward facing sticky pistons like this, the inbox like that, inbox here. The first repeater is going to be set to one tick, and the rest are going to be set to four. Set a repeater to four right there, and redstone like that. Oh, lag. Then on this side, you're going to delete this and place a chest there. And make a little. Oh, Walk right here so that you can take the items. And then we're going to place the hopper. Make sure it's facing into the chest, not like the sandstone over there. And then you're going to place blocks like this. Repeaters. All of these are set to four. Locks. Oh. Locks right here. Redstone on top of them. Now this is the customizable part. I recommend um, how many money you have. That, for example, like if I have five dollars, I recommend having like five repeaters at four ticks. If I had seven dollars, seven repeaters have four ticks. So in this case, I have one, two, three, four, five. And then I just need a block there for redstone. That. And then all of these are going to be set to four. Oh. And then two blocks of that, two redstone, and a redstone torch there. Then I'm going to have an upward facing sticky piston right there. Block there, redstone, and a repeater. And that's basically it. So I have paper in here as well. Um, let's just reward a redstone lamp. But when I put one of these in there, as you can see, everything's going correctly. I have the redstone lamp is in the chest, and the hopper is now taking the items down into this chest. This person has extended so that I can take the items out and be sneaky, get all the emeralds I want. But yeah. So that's basically the whole thing finished. Good morning. <laughs> it's it's like so creepy. Good morning. But anyways, <clears throat> and this will also detect multiple items. So <laughs> let's just have two random items in there. Two of these, and now I have both items in there. Cool. So yeah, that's basically it for the ATM. It's a very cool machine that you can use on a server. But make sure it's anti-grief so someone just can't break the wall and walk in and go like hehehehehehe. <laughs> but yeah. 
I'd like to thank you all for watching, and I will see you later.